Good morning. In this video, I want to talk about the reason why you have no motivation right now. Now, in other videos, I've often spoken about this whole paradigm between having motivation and having discipline. And that's something I'm going to assume that you've understood and you get the concept that you need to be disciplined. Even in times when you don't necessarily feel like doing something, you need to have the mental wherewithal to be able to push forward in any given scenario. But what I want to touch on in this particular video is how important it is that you actually have a pursuit that really gets you enthused and excited and out of bed every day. Now, when we talk about achieving greatness or some form of fulfillment in your life, I often like to define it as really the continuous pursuit of a worthy ideal. And I have to be clear that I did not invent that statement. It comes through reading authors such as Bob Proctor and Earl Nightingale and some of those types of people. But they often talk about this premise that that's really what fulfillment is about. It's all about the continuous pursuit of a worthy ideal. Now, when we actually break that down and think about what is actually meant in that, it, it's really fascinating, right? So first of all, it's the premise of continuous, which means that there is no end destination per se. It's the fact that you are continuing throughout your life to take steps forward towards something that you deem to be worthy, right? And so think about that first of all, it's the continuous pursuit. The next component is something being worthy, right? As we just mentioned. So you've got to think about in your life, when you look at your work or what it is that you're doing or whatever you have going on, is it a worthy ideal? Is it something that when you really sit about, you have a bit of a feeling in your stomach, a bit of a feeling in your gut that makes you believe actually this is something that really I want to work towards. This is something, a vision that I have for my life, which really encapsulates me, which I can get enthused about, and which is something that's really going to drive transformation in my life. Now, if you don't have those ingredients, you're always going to wake up and you're just going to have that, that what if going on in your mind, or you're going to feel a little bit stifled, right? You're not necessarily going to have that energy and that enthusiasm to want to continue to march forward. Even discipline alone can be very difficult to carry you forward if you haven't taken the time to create a compelling vision or a worthy ideal that you can continuously push, uh, press forward with every single day. And so how can you actually go about changing this? Now, the first thing is to really take a moment to create a true, true vision for yourself in your life. The way I like to about, go about doing this is actually writing a letter to myself from the future. So I've got a letter that I've written to myself from the year 2027. And I talk about everything that I've done, everything that I've achieved as if it's already happened in the present day. And that is so incredibly powerful because when you take the time to do that, it really just gets you fueled. Every time you read it, you start to feel it. You start to feel like this is your current in your present day reality. And you know in yourself, if you get that feeling of enthusiasm and belief and something inside you starts to wake up, then you know that that letter has all of the ingredients that will really set you alight. And you know that that will be something that you can define as a worthy ideal for yourself in your life. And so, first of all, create a vision, then write a letter to yourself. And then it's all about taking action, right? There's no secret around this. You've now got the vision. How do you actually make that happen? You have to start to take steps forward. And what you'll find is once you have that vision and you know that it's compelling, the answers as to what you need to do next will slowly start to appear in your life. So you have to trust in the process and you have to really trust in that vision and then start to take steps forward and watch how things start to appear in your life that allow you to continually march forward on that journey. And so a little bit of a different video here, but I just wanted to add some encouragement to anyone who maybe is feeling in a bit of a lull or if you're a founder, things aren't quite going your way or a sales leader or a salesperson. Just make sure you've taken the time to create a vision for your company, for yourself, for your future so that you can make sure that you wake up every single day and you feel enthused about the path and the journey that you're walking on. I hope this video has been helpful in some way and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.